You farted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an accident. Hi, we're back. Did you miss us? So, welcome back to another edition of Annoying Things. And this week, it's Back to School Edition. <sighs> Roll intro. Back to school time is nigh, and there are quite a few things that are annoying on the first week of school, the first day of school, or leading up to the first day of school. So, let's begin. Well, the obvious one is not knowing, or not knowing how to pronounce, or even just not knowing our names. Or having the class list and you can't pronounce their names. Le... 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 It's pronounced Le Troy. Why is there a hyphen there? <laughs> <laughs> is that a number in your name? I'm gonna go, like, is that a nine? Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call you a ninety. One year I had an Ayana, an Inaya, and an Ayana all in the same class. So it gets a little weird. My first year of teaching, I actually had a student in my class. Her name was Ayana. And I just pronounced it Anaya because I had a girl named Anaya on my class list. So I went the first two months of school calling this little girl Anaya. And we just, and, and the girl that was supposed to be in my room, was in, an, um, was in another classroom because we didn't know what their name was because nobody ever corrected me. Well, I like on the list, it has a big name like Samantha, and you say that name, I'm called Rose. <laughs> what? Uh, another thing is the pronouncing of my name. I don't know how many times during the first week I get called teacher. Hey, teacher. I have the name Peckinpaw. Let that sink in. <laughs> Peckinpaw. Think of your own joke there. <laughs> I've heard them all. Um, usually I just go with Mr. P because of that, but I mean, I had kindergarten once as a sub, they call it Mr. Penguin. It's the most tame I can probably tell you, but tell them your name has to be, my name's Mr. Peckinpaw. Mr. Peckinpaw only. <laughs> you can call me that or Mr. P. Has to be that, that same, those same guidelines, the first day of school every year. Leading up to the first day of school, the anxiety, all the stuff that you think in your head that's gonna go wrong before the first night of school. There you are, you're sitting there thinking, you're getting ready for the first day of school, you know, you're doing your bathroom routine, your, your nightly routine, whatever, and then you start thinking about all the horrible atrocities that could take place <laughs> the next day on the first day of school. What if I, what if I get to school and I have a kid, what if I have a bunch of criers, what if I have a kid who's like a little spawn of Satan and destroys the entire room the first morning? You don't know, you run through all these things in your head that could go wrong. Usually my dreams before the first day of school involve me screaming at the top of my lungs and the kid's just laughing at me and not accepting my authority, and then I wake up in a cold sweat going, well, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walk in and everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Does it? Yeah, I, but before about the first two weeks before school, I usually have those dreams where I show up at school in my underwear or I don't have any lesson plans or I don't have any tables. I never had a positive getting ready for school dream. <laughs> it's always something horrible and then I wake up and go, well, school's about to start. Yeah, you don't have that dream where like, your day is over from the first day of school and every, all the kids just start clapping for you. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Thane, good lesson today, man. No, that's never happened. I suppose it's because more of school ends with us yelling. <laughs> so our dreams take that. Take on the true form. They don't take on, no one ever says, good job with this lesson, Mr. P. And so the dream takes that and magnifies, no, it magnifies. <laughs> Connected. Every year I ask for a very specific set of school supplies and every year I will have uh, parents who in their who uh, very kind-heartedly and, and they're very uh, well-intended will bring in way too many school supplies. So the first week of school I have to deal with Mount School Supply, which is basically I pile all their school supplies in the corner and throw a, throw a tarp on for it <laughs> and then it sits, Mount School Supply sits and waits and I have to figure out a way to sort all the school supplies out. Another annoying thing is the whole first week, maybe even the second or third week, is teaching procedures. Spending my time teaching kids how to do things that seem really easy when I just want to teach information and important <laughs> things. The things that I was taught in college to do, English and social studies for me, everything for you. Mm -hmm. But teaching, oh, this is the rule when we do this. Oh, we get computers at this time. 
No, you, you, you take your AR test now. It can be drudging, yes, it can be, it can be very uh, mundane, um, but we all know it's a very, very important part of the first two weeks yes. of school. Hey, kids, this is how we line up. And you can't just say, all right, kids, get in line. Oh my, there'll be blood everywhere. <laughs> if you say, all right, kids, get in line. So If I don't mention the school, the rule on my wall that says, keep your hands to yourself, we're just gonna see this. <laughs> With the first time we get in line. Well, there you have it. That's annoying things students do back to school. Addition, if you have any other things that annoy you about the derby, if you have, nailed it. If you have anything else you want to talk about that annoys you about going back to school, make sure to comment down below. Share this video with some other teachers if you want on the internet. On the Instagrams, on the Facebooks, on the Twitter. Share it however you wish. We'll be back again next Thursday. Have a great week.